fog. It's hard to ignore, hard to escape, and hard to forecast. Here's what's happening in 90 seconds. So most of the time, the sun heats the ground and then heats the air right above it. That air starts to rise, air expands, cools, and sinks back down. It's this constant churning, this vertical motion that keeps the atmosphere moving. But every so often, that whole structure flips. Cold, heavy air settles right against the ground. Meteorologists call this an inversion. You can think of it like an atmospheric lid. And right now that lid is being held down by high pressure, sinking air that traps everything underneath. With nowhere to go, that moisture condenses into tiny droplets, AKA a cloud on the ground. It's also why you almost always see fog in the morning. Overnight without the sun to keep things churning, the ground loses heat, chills the air right above it. And that cold air becomes heavy and just sits there. That's all fog is, the air stuck in the wrong order. And that cold layer is usually very shallow. We're talking 50 to a few hundred meters. So white out at a bus stop, but if you go up a mountain, clear blue skies. Sometimes the most disruptive weather in Canada isn't the loud crashing kind, it's the kind that just settles in and refuses to move.